So that parliamentary vote comes uh, when the current debate finishes. It's been heated as usual. Here's Theresa May. And every vote for the Conservatives will make it harder for those who want to stop me from getting the job done. Every vote for the Conservatives will make me stronger when I negotiate for Britain with the European Union. And every vote for the Conservatives will mean we can stick to our plan for a stronger Britain and take the right long-term decisions for a more secure future for this country. To recap, Theresa May's main reason for calling this election is her current strength relative to the main opposition party, Labour. The latest polls from YouGov give her a 20 percentage point lead. This is huge in UK terms for some perspective. In 2015, David Cameron won the current Conservative majority with 36.9% of the vote to Labour's 30.4%, just a 4.5% lead. Could the polls be wrong? Well, the risk for Theresa May is that this becomes a de facto second EU referendum with her party representing Leave. Other parties remain. In that light, May is certainly risking some of her MPs in pro Remain, prosperous urban constituencies and parts of the rural southwest who will uh, likely lose their seats uh, based on campaigns centering on Brexit. She believes uh, it will, she'll take enough off Labour elsewhere, particularly the north of England, for it to be worthwhile. Another big risk for her is what this all end up, ends up meaning for Scotland. Either way, Sterling and the FTSE settling down today after the pound had rallied past 128 yesterday for the first time in 2017 on the expectation of May increasing her majority and with it her bargaining power with the EU in Brexit negotiations. On the flip side, of course, the FTSE uh, hitting uh, negative territory for year-to-date returns earlier this morning, having fallen 2.5% yesterday. Guys. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.